here in my garage in the California Hills with my black 240SX. What am I more proud of? That or all these tools that I had to build a workbench to hold? The tools. Because knowledge. Alright, so if you remember in my old video, Il Patrol, this is my 1990 240SX. Um, it has not moved since that video. And it's been basically an abandoned car for a while now. So the goal is with this car is in six months, get it running, get it drifted, and make it look sick again for car meets. So there's a few things we have to do if you want to come over here. First things first. We gotta get in here. The inside looks like an abandoned, it looks like the drift car when we got it from the junkyard. It is just an abandoned piece of shit right now. And then come around here. This should be uh, in the under the hood of the car. That's the alternator. We also have a bunch of holes in the deck lid that I want to fix. I want to get rid of this antenna because nobody listens to FM or AM anymore. Uh, the rims, I need new rims. I'm talking to a few companies. I'm trying to get some a sponsorship for the rims. But if that doesn't happen, then these rims, uh, the, the big VIP looking rims, are gonna be painted black. And the whole car is gonna get reshot diamond black, which is a Nissan OEM color. So we're gonna black that out. We're gonna black out the tent. We're gonna black out everything. And then all the accents are still gonna be neochrome, just cause I think that that looks best on cars. I just, it's one of my favorites. So we're gonna murder out the whole car, but not like flat black like everybody else does because I think that that's tacky. I want something glossy that shines. So we're gonna diamond black it with black rims, black tint, just black it out. And it's now gonna be named the 187SX. So we're gonna be doing that. And we have a, a special thing that we're doing under here. So this motor, uh, the other day, I filmed me going through and unclipping everything and we're going to be pulling out this KA and putting in a new little toy that we're picking up today from LA. So we'll film that for you too. So this is going to get stripped out, cleaned, detailed, and it's going to get ready for some car meets and it's going to be dope. So basically that's what we're going to be working on. Today we're just going to finish unclipping the motor and then cleaning the outside and the inside of the car just so we can really see what needs to be done and start taking down notes and write down a list because if i'm really going to get this stuff done in six months i'm going to need a list to start checking off that way i don't forget anything and i know what i need to get done first and uh, to keep me on track for this six months i'm going to not shave my face for that entire time that way every day i have an itchy reminder on my face to get out here and work on this car so that's what we're going to be doing the budget was going to be a thousand dollars to do the whole car because basically that's like 75 bucks a month or something like that which i could stretch um, but now that we're picking up an sr20 today that is just the block there's a lot of money that's going to be going in parts for that so that budget might get blown but we'll see what we can do so buy a t-shirt please we need help so that's what we're going to be doing today and i uh, hope you guys enjoy Back from the dead. So I'm going to try to keep this one short because uh, this episode's basically just been me rambling on uh, about what's going on. 
But this is just episode one, so I just wanted to fill you guys in on what the game plan really is and walk you guys around the car and show you what's going on. So now the car is clean, it's ready to start getting parts stripped out of it and put back in it and stuff like that. So that's awesome. But earlier I mentioned that we're getting an SR20 for the engine. And uh, that SR20 I got for a hell of a deal. It's not running per se. It's uh, it's smoking white smoke. He said it's probably just a head gasket. But since the motor's out of a car, I'm just going to do a full rebuild on it anyways. And it's just the block. So I don't have an intake manifold, exhaust manifold, turbo, anything like that. It's just the motor and the valve cover and that is it. So. That kind of sucks because I'm going to have to throw a lot of money into it to get it into a running car. i got to get the wiring harness and the ECU and all that stuff. But hopefully I'll be able to sell my KA with its transmission and wiring harness and ECU to somebody that drives an automatic. That way I can swap mine over to an SR and not have to pay the full price because I'll be able to sell some old parts. So that's what my game plan is. However, for the motor, like I said, I'm getting a hell of a deal. He's trading me just for my old case ports, which... Uh, I believe we're in good condition. I don't think they're blown. Like the rubber boot is still good. There's no leaks in it. Uh, everything like that. They're pretty solid still. But I don't know how blown coilover to drive. And I told him that because I wanted to be fair. I don't want to drive all the way out there and have him like, you know, not want to do it because he thinks they're blown or something like that. So I told him, I was like, I don't know how blown coilover drive. I've only had these ones and eBay ones. And the eBay ones are a lot softer and more forgiving on bumps, but not nearly as stiff and responsive. So I don't know if that's just because these ones are more expensive and a better quality or if these ones are blown. And I told him that and he said, that's still fine. If I just meet him there and I, he doesn't have to meet me halfway, then he'll do just the coilovers, no cash on top, which is awesome. So we're gonna be going and doing that. All right, so I don't wanna record a lot of audio while we're driving down there, but basically we got the coilovers in the trunk and we're about to start our journey, like a three hour, four hour journey to go pick up this SR. So, uh, come along for the ride. Hell yeah. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Ill to Trill. I know it was kind of a lame one, it was just kind of an introduction video, uh, but a lot is coming up. So please hit that share button, let your friends know about the series. The more supporters we get, the faster this build goes. Uh, if you want, like I said earlier, you can hit the eye up in the corner or buy one of my t-shirts. All my links are going to be down below. Go ahead and follow me on social media to keep up to date on everything that's going on. Because um, if you follow me on social media, you will see the teaser photo that I post of the SR20, giving everybody a sneak peek that we're getting it. And, um, and you'll be kind of ahead of the game with that one. So I want to say thank you to everybody that does like the Facebook page. That's awesome. I wish you guys were a little bit more interactive with my posts. But other than that, still thank you for liking it. And I think that's it. I'm done rambling. Thank you so much. If you guys want to see episode two, where we start stripping stuff and doing work, smash that like button. Let's get it to 200 likes. If we get to 200 likes, I'll post it right away. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. This has been Spiff and I'm out.